Well, this is the day of good news for fathers. You're not on your own as you partner with your wife for your children. Jesus is with you. You're not on your own if you're a single parent. Jesus is with you. As you know, when you held your baby for the first time and he or she opened their little eyes, that was a life lock of love given to you by Jesus. Thank Jesus for that and cherish the memory. Praise him because Jesus is helping fathers to be better than they have to be. Jesus doesn't abandon you as you live your lifetime of fatherhood. And no matter how challenging it gets to be, my friend, for the Christian father, the model that you set has great, perhaps tremendous influence on your children. God had made you a father so you can worry over your child. God has made you a father so that you can give blessings to your child. How's that done? Sometimes through example, other times with words, and then all the time through loving your children just because God gave them to you to do just that. Fatherhood doesn't come with an instruction manual excepting the good book filled with insights and stories and the shining light of Jesus' example of how to be a godly man. Jesus gave us three word sermons to use. These are three word sermons that you can use with your kids. Have a heart. Jesus will forgive. Seek Jesus' face. Keep the faith. Don't be afraid. Jesus loves you. Trust in Jesus. My friend, Jesus has got this kid of yours when you prayerfully commit your kid to Jesus. Jesus said it's not what goes into a, a father's mouth that makes him a great father. It's what comes out of a mouth. Matthew 15, 11 says this. It is not what goes into a mouth that defiles the person, but it is what goes out of the mouth that defiles a person. Please understand I'm not making a judgment of your life as a father, but I'm simply offering Jesus' encouragement to you to speak carefully when in doubt or when in anger or when you're unsure because those words that come out of your mouth can have great influence and make a lasting impression. Those words coming out of your mouth can have an influence on those hearing those words. A father said to me one time, when he woke up, he'd sit on the edge of the bed for a long time, 45 minutes to an hour. What should he do? He was depressed, he said to me. We opened the Bible to 1511, we read it, we prayed together, and then the father said to me, I need to be speaking differently. I want to encourage my family, not discourage them. I want to speak words that will help me to persevere in my work, bored that I am, and thank Jesus that I am working and helping my family. And I want to see the good days again, and I can see the good days again with Matthew 15, 11. He used the three word sermons too, and he left there. And I continue to pray for this father, knowing that Jesus was already helping him. Fathers in all ways, influence their families for Jesus. My father has been a tremendous influence for living as Jesus does and I can see that in my life. Dad made up the phrase better than we have to be as a slogan for mom for a work competition and it's become the slogan for our family. He's loved me, he's helped me in my ministry, and he shows me Jesus' love every time I'm with him. He's making our family members stronger in Christ with his words at just the right moment. They encourage and guide and uplift. He was baptized at a young age and anointed by the Holy Spirit. And all these years he has sought to get closer to Jesus through sermons and reading the Bible and through prayer and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Fathers can be better than they have to be when they give themselves to Christ, when they lean on Christ, because Christ shows the way when we don't know where to go, which way to go, how to choose the way to go. Christ 
gives us abundant life. And that means that Christ Jesus is our Lord and Savior. And we look forward to that day when we lift up holy hands to Jesus on the throne of Jesus. And we want every father there beside us and with us. A father's love of Christ makes all the difference. Let's pray together. Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us Jesus Christ so that fathers may never be alone, may never struggle, and thank you for fathers that love Jesus. At your blessing, fill each father hearing this message today, and may they express in their lives that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. Help us to support our fathers and all speak words that encourage and uplift. In Jesus' name, amen. My friend, if you've been participating in this message and you haven't asked Jesus Christ into your life, please repeat after me. Lord and Savior Jesus, I give you my life, everything that I own and all that I am. I make you Lord and Savior from this moment on and I will turn to you in all that I do and say and am. In Christ's name, amen. My friend, as you prayed this prayer, you became a Christian solid in Jesus Christ. Send us an email or give us a telephone call and let us know that you have taken Christ and he has secured himself in you. God bless you, my friend. Amen.